What a beautiful morning. Wow. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku. Today, I'm with Captain Stilo. Just arrived at Jurassic Park and... Jurassic gonna, Park. Jurassic Park's where we're at. We're gonna catch some dinosaurs. Isla Nublar in Costa Rica. <laughs> That's where we're fishing today. Yeah, we're going for sturgeon today, guys. And uh, he's the sturgeon master, man. He catches, catches them all. And yeah. uh, we've been wanting to do this for a couple years. Yeah, it's been, been, it's yeah. Been, it's been challenging, but yeah. we're here now, so. Here now. Let's we're make gonna, it count. Yeah, we're gonna make it count. Let's catch them. Hopefully we'll get a bigger one than your, your last one. Mm -hmm. We'll get one bigger than you. Yeah, <laughs> bigger than I, me. I, I've yeah, seen some big ones in here. Me. We've had ones up to 12 and a half feet. And, Nine and a half feet. Jeez, 12 and a half feet. Yeah. Thanks yeah, for having me, man. No problem. <laughs> let's do this. We also got Joe right here. Hey, what's up? Yep, and uh, he owns a company called Tackle Swap. Yep. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, it's the Tackle Swap Inc. So yeah. it's, uh, we're basically building out a marketplace for small creators. So custom lures, custom baits, hand tied stuff. Sick. Uh, local brands, local folks, yeah. you know, YouTuber merch, etc. Yeah, <laughs> sick. We also got Flash. Hey, come yeah. see me, man. I'm at Lucky Vans Tattoo in San Francisco. Oh, yeah. And you're your tattoo needs. And you make these leaders you yourself. By hand, yeah. By hand. You and you sell them, them on his website. Swap. Yeah. You can tell. Not easy to yeah. tie by hand. Yeah. <laughs> what pound test is that? This is 150. 150 pound test. So there's no mercy in this one. <laughs> We got these little gim shrimp, or as, as Flash calls them, but they're ghost shrimp. Ghost shrimp. I'm getting tattooed on So, <laughs> he says he's going to tattoo a ghost shrimp on me, I don't know. Sure. Might take a little, little liquor for that one. Just to thread these through. These are barbas, so. Yeah. I grind them down with the, the Dremel, just so we're California legal. Got to wrap it. Okay. And we'll go with the second one. Because the idea here is to give them something to want to eat now we wait for the bite we just watch the rod tips very carefully and with any movement bam we're gonna set the hook try to get them just practice <laughs> It was less than last time. It was like more of a wiggle. Yeah, they're starting to trickle through. I didn't start seeing them on the screen. All right, come on, fish. So Stilo actually has a YouTube channel too. Yeah. It's called Deadliest Cast Fishing, and uh, yeah, he's probably one of the first guys that ever started a YouTube fishing YouTube channel here in the Bay Area. He knows what he's doing when it comes to fishing. All in the Bay Area, and he even caught a bluefin tuna this year. Monterey. Out of Monterey, yeah. yeah that the, was sweet, man. That was big a, ones of the season. That was a big one. That was a big boy. That was my height. <laughs> so, That's awesome, man. It made me look small again. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you guys check him out. Deadliest cast. A lot of info on there. A lot of, a lot of how tos. A lot of how tos. If you want to really learn how to fish, you go watch his videos. Check it out, subscribe. Follow the Instagram and all that good stuff. Yep. Oh. There you go, oh, he's on, he's on! That's just like that, he's on, you're on bro. You're on. That's why we hold it. Just like nice. that, just like that. Keep it going. Yeah. Keep it going. Easy, easy, if you want to run, let him run, okay? All right. Just like that. Just oh. like that. Little nut shakes. He's running uh -oh. sideways. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Watch that line. Watch the line. Uh -oh. There you go. Go around. 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 Go that leader, that leader ain't going nowhere. Straight up and down. Point it forward. Point it to the right. Point it to the right. I know, maybe. Maybe a little shorter, huh? Yeah, a little right. short. A little short. Watch your the rods. Yep. Got him. Don't put your belt on this fold. You need to lift it up slowly. 
He's hot. Yeah. They're slowly, they're slowly, they're slowly. No, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Hold on. I have to get his head, okay? Sick. Sick. Yeah, yeah good work, bro. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Nice yeah. First one ever. Hold that. Nice one. On the murder meter, too. You just stubby, like, dude. Dude. like a little. <laughs> like a, chubby, that's like, like a fishy bando on. 31. That's too close, dude. Really nah, close. I'm five foot in back. Yeah, let's just let him go. Let him go get a little, little bit bigger. Yeah. Here's another good. How easy that comes out. Yeah. Well, 150 just... pound test. Oh boy. That's yeah, it's gonna be a big one. Hold the tail. Thick. We'll come back for him someday. Oh, it's heavy. <sighs> you know? Yeah. That's heavy. Let's measure it one more time. <laughs> let's see. It's like four. <laughs> It's like 40, 40 and a half. 40 and a half. I don't know. What's this level? 40 to 60. So 40. 40. I'm with it. I mean, it's, it's over 40, but I mean, it's so bare, I'm fine putting it back. You gonna kick hard? Once he feels the water. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah. So what happened there, Stilo? Fish was, it's a nice thick fish. I'm not a fan of keeping ones that are just barely over the 40 inch mark. Um, it's just a solid fish. Put him in a good meal, but I'll let him grow a little bit. Yeah. Just get him a little bit bigger in the we'll come back mid 50s range. Yeah. You know? Right we'll on. Again. So. Yeah, it worked out. All right, cool. First one, uh, it was in the slot, just, but just barely. So decided to let it go. Let him go, let him grow, and uh, we'll get the next one, a little bigger one. So for the sturgeon, there's what's called a slot limit, meaning that there's a minimum size and also a maximum size that you can keep. And that slot limit for sturgeon in California is 40 inches to 60 inches. So anything below 40, we've got to release. Anything over 60, you have to release as well. So we can only keep what's in between. All right, we're moving spots a little bit here. All right, so you guys look at the screen up there. What we're doing is we're trying to find a consistent school of sturgeon that are, are feeding in a straight line. And the sturgeon, they're like cows. They like to graze in a, in a line. Mm. And feed like you ever drive down the highway and sell these cows just kind of all in a single line and they're uh -huh. all eating uh -huh. kind of what these things do they kind of just sit around and cruise in a single line just graze the bottom yeah. so we're going to try to find that consistent line of fish that are just sitting there so look at the screen now you see how it's kind of lit up with fish right there just more consistency look at that right there and that's what i like Try to leave it out as far as you can from the boat. All right. Good sheep, you're on, buddy. He's on. He's on. You're on. He's put the rod on the right. Put the rod on the right. Find him. Find him. Good shit. Yeah. That's what I said. Whoa. Just find him. Just find him. You got him. Just like that. Find him. Just keep it tight, bro. Keep yeah. it tight. Keep it tight. Keeping it tight. Got taco hooked up. How's it feel? I don't, good. I don't think it's a monster, but it's pretty heavy. It's, it's stuck. It, it, it's not woken up yet. He's taking line. It's okay. It's it's good. Just pump, pull up, yeah. reel down. Yeah. There you go. Reel down on it. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Shit. That's a nice one. Heavy. That's a nice one. Take your time. Go ahead and reel down. There you go. Lift up slowly. Don't thumb it because you might pop them off. Good shit, bro. No, no, break his spirits. Don't have him go near that line. Just try to run to the anchor. There you go. There you go. There you go. That leader ain't going nowhere. That leader ain't going nowhere, brother. There you go. Yeah, that's a, this is sturgeon fishing. Yeah. 
Good okay. shit, bro. Good shit. There you go. There you go. There you go. Go to the corner. Good job, buddy. Good fight. Good fight. Arms burning, I know. Yeah. You ain't sturgeon fishing if your arms ain't burning. There you go. That thing's rocky, you know? There you go. He's getting tired. He's bubbling. See the bubbles? Girl. Follow him. Watch him over there. Go to the corner. Follow him. Follow him. Oh, he's running. Okay. He's running. Go around it. Good job. Good job. He's bubbling, so he's getting tired. There you go. Crank down. Crank down. Crank down. Crank down. Crank down. Stop. Good reel. job. Pull it up. There you go. He's coming. Easy. Just reel down slow. Up. There you go. There you go. Keep the tension on him. Turning the boat. I might have it over. <clears throat> oh. Big taco hook, hooked the monster. She's gonna take you back around. We set the hook on this bad boy. Talk him around those motors. Go for it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh, huh? Woo! Damn! Right here. All right, I see leader. Oh. Oh. Got him. Let me free spool. Yes, sir. I, I know. My hand, dude. Oh. Two. That's like 58, how much? Oh, 59. Oh, that's oversized. Hold it. Uh, that might be too big. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, my that's, hand. That's a thumbnail. That's a thumbnail for sure. Let's get this going. Here, go ahead and step out. Big one. Yeah. Let's try to get over it. 65. 65. 65. Oversized. Oversized. That's a monster. Yeah. Biggest fish of my life, bro. Beautiful. Biggest fish of my life, bro. <laughs> good job. Thank you. How much do you think that weighs? Probably uh, close to 80 to 100. Yeah, I'd say a good 70, 80 pounds. Yeah. Just got one. Giant. One giant. Oh, we're going to get this guy got back. It's always fine. Oh yeah. Oh, there he goes. No, my arm is dead. I know. We all know how you feel. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys. Now we're back uh, from fishing. Amazing day. That was an wow. awesome day of fishing. That was cool. That was awesome, man. Biggest fish of my life. I know I've said it many times already, but just want you to know that. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was so big that we couldn't keep it. It was over the size limit that we can keep. Uh, but I still want to cook something for you guys because, you know, this is Outdoor Chef Life. I can't leave you hanging without a little cooking show <laughs> at the end. That's it. Dilo actually went out again uh, after our trip and they caught a keeper. What's how big was that one? 46. 46 Almost, inches. Yeah, it was 46, yeah. Well, anyways, he filleted that one yesterday. You guys want to see that video. Uh, did you film a video yesterday? Uh, we, we got some video, yeah. Yeah. And Amimi's got some video. Yeah. And, um, and June got some and video. June so, got some video, so, too. Yeah, they'll put some video up. So, yeah, yeah. there'll be multiple versions of uh, yesterday <laughs> on YouTube. If yeah. you guys want to check that out, I'll leave the links in the description below. Anyways, he, they were gracious enough with their catch, and they gave me a piece of it. And here it is right here. So they give me a piece. So now I can do a little cooking for you guys too, and uh, I can cook something up for steel here. There you go. All right, so we're gonna get started with that. Oh, here we can st get started with this. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you're into that kind of. Uh, let's try it. What is beers, this? But yeah, let's try it's it. From San Diego. Is that right? San Diego. It works. Yeah. Always time for a cold one. Cheers, man. Cheers. Oh, this is good. All right, so he gave me this nice big piece right here. It's a big, it's a nice chunk. Yeah. 
you see all the all the fat right there yeah the farmers fish won't have that mm. they feed them all kinds of pellets and oh yeah yeah weird stuff all right so the skin is on it still so i'm just gonna take the skin off here almost looks like pork huh yeah man it's so crazy like how how much it is like pork mm -hmm. but even better i think all right so what i'm making i'm making actually um some some katsu sturgeon katsu and we're gonna do katsu sando and so i'm gonna just butterfly this and see here So what I really wanted to do was fillet a fish for you guys because last year when I did a sturgeon catch and cook, I lost all my fillet oh, footage, no. and it was uh, I was I was devastated because <laughs> I, I was it was really interesting to fillet one of these guys, man. It's so different. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do, but just a little awkward here, so I'm gonna cut this little piece off. And uh, we'll get you one. Yeah, sorry, I still couldn't get you that fillet footage. Maybe on the next one. At some point, you gotta start making your own products, man. Yeah. Outdoor Chef Live, all the ingredients, you know? Yeah. I do mm. have um, a ch chili crisp coming oh, out. Oh, nice. Yeah, with Barnacle Foods, it's gonna be so good. We worked on that recipe, and. Hmm. So look forward to that soon. Coming soon. I'm gonna season these pieces here, just salt and pepper. crazy to think that these fish have been around forever. 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 They're one of the last known survivors, last dinosaurs. What do you think in terms of like sustainability of these fish? You think, what do you think? What's your take on it? I think they're fine. There's plenty of them. Yeah, there's a lot, hundreds of hundreds of them just cruising by. Thing yeah. is, you can mark them all day. You can fish them all day. Mm -hmm. But to get them to bite, yeah, that's where it gets tricky, you know? There's got to be a reason why they've been around for so long, you know? They've been yeah. able to survive through everything. Correct. Those and, bigger fish, yeah. I think, they, they get that big for a reason. When they get hooked. Mm -hmm. We've hooked some big ones, and and, uh, and we know that, you know, they try to get away. They run for the anchor. They, yeah. you know, try to go for the motor, try to break you off. Yeah. They wrap in the leaders. They and, have you know, a sort of an intelligence, yeah, too. Yeah, you know, and it's crazy because their brains are about the size of a pea, mm -hmm. but they know how to how to get away. Yeah. You know? Well, we have those strict slot limits. Yeah, and and it's definitely got to help with the conservation efforts we have on the sturgeon. You know, being that there's only that slot limit of 20 inches, 40 to 60. 40 to 60. That's definitely got to, you know. Help yeah. With I noticed in, too. in the past, in my experience, the bigger ones are the ones that breed and have the caviar and. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of the reason why they did that, you know? Yeah, that's the reason let them, why. Let them, let them breed. The big ones, they yeah. let them go, because those are the breeders. I have a little trimmed off piece. I'm just going to toss it in there. There you go. That is pretty much done. Put that off like So right now I have the heat at about a medium. I'm just frying them on both sides for about four minutes, if that. And uh, that's it. Let them rest a little bit. Oh, I want to ask this. Has anybody tried eating the spinal cord thing that comes out of that <laughs> spine, cord? spine I, of the sturgeon? I've heard some people, but yeah. I don't know if they were serious or not. <laughs> I had some, some customers that said they ate it. Oh, yeah? I don't know how serious they were, but... <laughs> From what I understand, it's not that great. If it's edible, I can make anything <laughs> great. <laughs> that smells good. All right, I just have some simple Japanese white bread. All right, so obviously you can have the big one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, oversized. Oh my God. Nice, nice. <laughs> oversized. Little sauce. Got a little cabbage. Sliced cabbage. I'll cut it in half for you. So for this one, I'm gonna make it look pretty. No crust. <laughs> there you go. Wow. 
Ooh, that is perfectly cooked, man. Oh yeah. That is awesome, Mini. And I'm not done. I got oh, some tonkatsu oh, yeah. sauce, baby. There we go. I was wondering about that. There we go. Had a bunch of that stuff at home too. Wow. There we go. There we go. Let's try it, man. All right. Let's some try pictures it. of that. Sturgeon katsu sando. Cheers, man. All right. Cheers, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Mmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I'm going to fire that boat up right now. Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Sound the alarms. Wow. We're going sturgeon fishing right now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, that does not taste like fish. Simple and good, yeah. Yeah, simple, easy, quick. And so good. Man, that's delicious. I'm telling you, it is better than pork. You got the regular, I got the Jurassic Park size. Extra large, baby. <laughs> <sighs> that was a pleasure. Thank you for taking me out. No problem, we'll do more. Yeah, definitely. I'll we'll be fishing a lot more. Oh yeah. And you guys, make sure to check him out. Deadliest Cast Fishing on YouTube. And you can find him on Instagram as well. He's running these charters right now. So if you guys want to go catch one yourself, give him a holler, hit him up on Instagram, or I'll leave the website and the link in the description too. So you guys can find his info. Anyways, thanks yeah. for watching. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. I'll see you guys in the water. Peace.